<laughs> Hello. Nice here. KK Scramble. It's been eight days since I played, but I've got my notes, and also I reviewed just a little of the last episode at the end. Apparently we were feeling out whether I could try the base area. Oh, those were fast. I was trying to despawn them in the other room. Are they fast in battle? Hmm, maybe. <laughs> okay, well that removed the shield. Let's just try to win the fight. Wait, you have a yeah, bazooka in a three enemy situation. It's probably better to use that. Ex uh, it was a physical shield anyway. <laughs> Suporma. Our old friend. Anyway, now we have to uh, de-poison the whole party. Because uh, somebody tried to run away instead of just fighting. Oh wait, that probably could have just used the alpha. Because their HP is so low. I did do some looking, and apparently it's within the normal range for vanilla. Just, uh, Paula's a lot lower level than the rest of the party right now. Oh, they explode. Of course they do. And that's just leveled to 36. And Paula's level is... 30. And then we've got 36, 36. Bear 7. 81 damn Paul is dead. <laughs> ah. Just a little slow. Two enemies targeting Paula around one. Uh, wasn't good for her health, it turns out. Alright. Seems it often takes me two tries to get that. Okay. Got fly honey, we're cool. Apparently Shroom likes Tentacrout? Okay, he <laughs> got him. I think if it was any character other than Paula that was a little behind, I might have left him dead. But Paula's kind of the one we need to survive the final battle. Chef's special. Oh. <laughs> okay, wow, they're slow. They're also strong. Also, who has the Suporma? You have one? You also have one? You have one as well. You have two! Okay. 
build some espresso. Paula and Jeff must both resist fire right now. Okay, so there's still one Suporma among my items. Oh, hey, green swirl. Nice. Got him. Level up on Paula and another rank of Starstorm. down the ladder the bonus path? That was just feeling like it was going on for a bit. Oh yeah, this is the side path. Can I like, maybe not get an encounter with multiple enemies? I might have been able to take on two UFOs. Fine, I'll fight it. Beautiful UFO. And cohort. Fire Alpha! Twice! Hmm. Suporma. It was added to Ness's stuff. It doesn't say Ness takes it because uh, he was dead. Hmm. Now what do I do? I had a item. How many life noodles do I have? One, two. Only two. So I could revive who's currently dead, but. Oh wait, this is a butterfly room. If I just revive one person, uh, specifically if I revive Pooh, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit grindy, but do it. Didn't realize I had to have the item on a living character before I could actually use it. Would have been nice if things like life noodles were the exception, if anything. Okay, nice. First try revive. And then I would like more psychic points. points do you get from these? I keep thinking it's like specifically 10, but it might be like a percentage, maybe with a minimum. Okay, so Ness had 80. Now he has 100. That's 20. All right, one more. It just might as well top off, right? What's up here? Okay, so UFOs are like the worst enemy in the area. So they just spam Psy Fire. Uh, that was a 20 damage beam. Fired a beautiful beam, did it say? Suporma. <laughs> oh, that was an NPC like encounter. That's why it couldn't join the UFO. Anyway, we destroyed something they sent to three, I guess. A hungry HP sucker. I could have just hit the R button to give this to Jeff. Rock candy. Oh, I wanted to use it.
IQ was not the thing I was looking for from the rock candy, but it's what we got. I guess, I guess this area has a lot of high encounter spots because it's supposed to be foppies. I didn't think about that with the enemy shuffle. And yeah, I got more PP there than usual because we... Uh used the rock candy and got IQ. It doesn't update your PP until the next level up. Alright, we're either poor or dangerous because we don't have fly honey. Me out of there, don't want to fight double UFO again. It's Shroom! Gork, gork, gork. Shroom without any allies is a bit weird. Also, Rockin is Thunder, I think. Eh, uh, just shoot. Okay, no physical power shield. No shields of any kind. Okay, but it is very resistant to freeze. Defend since he's feeling strange. Which just fangs? Okay. <laughs> okay. Won the fight. Twenty-one thousand XP. Sci-fi or beta. Level ups all around. Oh yeah, I should at least, uh... Actually... Wait, no, still... I want to see if the third healing gets rid of the mushroom. No. Okay, we can walk through the ghost tunnels anytime. Does this get rid of mushrooms? It would be almost weird if it did. Oh, it does. Okay. Get the PK check. Learned how to teleport to the Lost Underworld. I think I already had that one. Anyway, let's just go see how the you were saying. How the your sanctuary location looks. In this seed, I'm definitely not looking to skip areas that might level me up and are definitely necessary. Kiss of death. Where do you normally fight that? I mean, logically, it has to be higher level than what I just did, but is it the next higher level thing? Oh, a pyramid enemy. It occurs to me I don't know where beautiful UFOs are normally encountered.
Hmm. Might want to toss a psychic move out here. Wait. That hot spring didn't restore everyone's PP. Might want to retreat from here. Wait, which enemy had a hula hoop? <laughs> the kiss of death swung with its hula hoop. Okay, yeah. We can pretend that one made sense. Yeah, I know this area is not too long and doesn't require too many resources to get through, but uh, I would like my psychic points. And at this point, my hit points. I don't mind getting all this HP and- or not HP, EXP. Which I would like to lead to HP. But it's not what we're collecting from the enemies. I guess... Yeah, they are flame pendants, okay. They've been really handy right in this part of the game. As well, drop a save. Alright, so yeah, this isn't gonna lead to a key item or anything, but I still wanna just head back in and get it done. For the EXP. Because it does seem like it's a reasonable set of enemies so far. Of course, I haven't seen the boss. Haven't we already fought Ness's Nightmare and Diamond Dog? Like, what other bad boss could it be? Nice. I think I high rolled on that life up, because he was missing around 100 hit points. Alright, it's this fight again. I think this time I'm gonna drop a Star Storm now that Paula actually has psych points. Like, not my best Star Storm. Actually, these enemies have more hit, hit points than I quite realized. Oh! Paula's dead again. That almost never happens. Oh, pfft. I wanted to try using PSI healing that round, but I was like, oh yeah, who's the fourth person? Nice, got the revive before finishing the fight, so she still gets experience. Might have only needed life up alpha. Nice. No instant win there. They really do have hit points. Nice. Okay, Ness can just, like, eat all the bad consumables. This has a super bomb. Oh wait, Rice Gruel isn't weak. Thought it was. Anyway, everyone else is reasonably fine. It's boss time. Mini barf. I'm gonna go with a bash there to hedge my bets against power shields. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Okay, I think it resisted freeze. Feels like everything resists freeze. 
You know what it doesn't resist though? Star Storm. <laughs> and yeah, having Jeff shoot the bazooka because he's crying. types. Oh, I didn't pay attention to what your sanctuary location the boss said he was guarding. Like, the number. Anyway. Got it. Let's see. No real need to use the zombie paper. Yogurt dispenser leads to a key item. Not really interested in the character check, but I might get a flying man as well. Um... Oh, pack of bubblegum could lead. Yeah, let's turn in the pack of bubblegum. Actually, do I have a winter's teleport? I probably can't teleport here. Yeah. Pack of bubblegum needs to wait until I can actually get to Winters, but I think I have been there, but the enemies were too strong at the time. I'm probably fine now? I don't know, maybe I should be like green swirling some enemies while they're trying to run away. Just for. Oh, especially these, I can instant kill them. Oh, that one despawned. Trash can enemy. Stinky ghost. It's got defense. There's a lot of HP. Ness isn't really the one that needs it, though. Anyway, that, that's enough grinding. I don't want to do too much, but... XP is important. Gonna just rest up before I check whether I can teleport to winters. And then if I can't, we're teleporting to summers. Or not summers, uh, foreside. I don't know why I said summers. Okay, I can go to Winters, though. Let's uh, see how we fare against the enemies here. And also see what's in the shop. I might not have checked that before. I think I would have checked this, though. Yeah, zombie papers sold out. Since we have uh, easy deaths turned on, I figured I wanted to see how much money I had and maybe pull it out in case there's a good shop left in the game somewhere. Alright, well, I guess we're seeing how this area looks by fighting four enemies at once. In case they have psychic power shields, maybe don't have everyone Starstorm. Alright, Fobbies. Tons of experience. 
That was double digit HP and PP for Paula. Like, nice. Sound for the nauseating breath. <laughs> Electrical jolt attack. Ooh. Um. Oh, Paula doesn't get targeted too early in the round. Also, I'm gonna toss a big star storm. Maybe don't use the healing right now, in case Paula dies anyway. Oh nice, Re Paula resists the scalding espresso that the uh, hieroglyphs are pouring out. Hieroglyphs are still alive. Oh no! Well... <laughs> Okay. Suporma. Psy wave. Alright, gotta get some hit points back. Actually, I'm like at the camp, right? No, I think I'll probably have like one more fight. Can I fight like maybe like less than three enemies? Uh, five is not less than three. Did you know that the numbers one through nine add to 45? Uh, <laughs> I guess I could have taken on that many fobbies. I forgot what enemy that symbol went with. Would've probably been, like, good for my experience to fight the group of five. Alright, let's get some soup. That's not the soup tent. There's stew, not soup. I'm sure they're completely different concepts. I guess I associate stews with being thicker, but I don't know like any like technical definitions. I have some chewing gum. <laughs> and I guess I saved my game and quit at the beginning of Dungeon Man, looking at the episode timer. Or not Dungeon Man, but the dungeon created by Dungeon Man. As opposed to the dungeon formerly known as Dungeon Man. And currently known as Dungeon Man. Yeah, I don't have a pencil eraser, so I can't just skip the maze here. But there might be good loot in the presence, given the level of the area. I guess pyramid enemies were also over at the, uh, most recent your sanctuary area we did. The ones in this area do feel a little tougher, though. Really check out Magicent sometime, but it's not a thing I'm doing. 
Dungeon has no entrance fee. Come on in. Oh, Brick Road. That's the name of the area. There is a phone in here, right? That enemy was gonna catch up with me anyway. Even the slimier little pile. Hypnosis. Jeff has fallen asleep. Okay. Another rank of freeze. Nice. Of course, don't let any damage on Paula slide. Yeah, I should have just saved in what whatever tent had a phone, because I think one of them does. Marauder Octobot. Tried to steal something but failed. It's totally scrapped. French fry pan. Uh, gonna drop the sudden guts pill. I'm never gonna remember to use it. I have no idea if it's better than her current fry pan. It is. I guess I did have some idea because I thought this was gonna be a high level area, but I also don't remember where I got the nonstick fry pan. And like, if I was doing things out of order at the time. So what's a chef's special? I've probably checked this before. It's today's special. I'm a highly trained chef. 200 HP recovery. Okay. Oh wait. These single enemy encounters, um, I should be getting rid of Supormas. I wonder if Jeff can do something with them, come to think of it. Probably not, right? I should maybe give it to Paula. But at least I know that it was better than what she had. Yeah, why did I think there was a phone in here? Oh, 121 damage. I don't think our health actually finished rolling down, though. It's gonna toss a life up alpha. You know, you, you toss psychic skills, right? Okay, how much better is that than what he had, though? Decently better. 24 offense. Now the bazooka's really obsolete for single targets. Yeah, 180 damage from that shoot? I guess unless Jeff is crying. I'm not, like, gonna throw out the bazooka. Oh, there is a phone, but it's at the end! I like that despite the call for help, there was less total enemy HP after round one. <laughs> they could have just kept calling for help, I wouldn't have minded. Rain Pendant. Is this specifically... Yeah, it's specifically Freeze. It's the C Pendant that's the good one. Do I think this is gonna be better than a Night Pendant? Am I more scared of Flash or Freeze? I think Flash is more common for enemies to have for some reason. I feel like you barely see Freeze effects at all. Anyway, that'll be it for this part. In the next part, 
uh, continuing on to the lab, seeing what the key item is, and maybe trying Stonehenge if the key item I get is an eraser eraser. Otherwise, I'll have to make this whole journey again some other time if I need the Stonehenge key item. Oh, right, there's also your sanctuary on the way. We'll try that. Anyway, see ya!